Hey guys, before we get to the video, I just want to let you know there are 10 days left to sign up for Guitar Super System for just five bucks for your first month. Use the coupon code SPRING when you sign up, and I am giving away a guitar to three lucky Guitar Super System students. Make sure when you sign up to go to the forum and leave your comment on the giveaway thread. But even if you don't win, you have access to probably the best guitar learning platform in the world. So there's that. Let's get to the video. I'm going to teach my wife some Taylor Swift, but it's not what you would expect. By the way, if anybody has any tips about haircutting in the quarantine time, um, please, please help me. Help. Okay, I've taught you Green Day, I've taught you Metallica, and now I'm gonna teach you Taylor Swift. However, I am going to inject a little bit of trickery. So we're gonna take this note here, in between these two birds, and then down to the first bird. Now we have two choices. You can either play this, or you can play that note here. Do you want to stay on the same string, or do you want to come down here to this string? Let's stay on the same one. Okay, in that case, we're just going to go like this. You were in the zone. I caught Taylor plagiarizing herself. What? If you notice, we started with... secrets to Taylor Swift? Yeah, the secret to writing a Taylor Swift song is start with a C, go to a G, then hit a nice D, then a little motion E to D. And you can use an E minor. Did so this can... just turn into a Habits of Taylor Swift video? Let's just, let's just try it. <laughs> 
revelation for you about your beloved Taylor Swift. Those are the best songs. The ones that are simple and overused chord progressions. I think they're nice. You never would have known all those songs were written with the same chords. And that's only a couple examples. And this is not only in Taylor Swift's music, but really a ton of pop music and rock music. I mean, I'm pretty sure ACDC only know three chords, but they also know this. <laughs> I'm sure Taylor knows that too. If a solo like that ever appeared in a Taylor Swift song, I would proclaim her the best musician of our generation. And I know she really cares what I have to say. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this slightly interesting version of uh, teaching my wife things. There's going to be a more challenging teaching my wife a riff coming up soon. It's Nirvana, I'll give you that hint. We already filmed it and I wasn't <laughs> sure if I was going to uh, use it or not because let's just say things don't go according to plan. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. She's the best, isn't she? <laughs>